Alright, so when I got this Prius uh, plug-in hybrid, uh, it came with this 120 charger, and this 120 charger worked, but it was pretty slow. It took around 3 hours to charge it, around 10 to 12 miles, and that's the max charge it would run on. Uh, so it wasn't really practical to charge any more than once a day, because it took so long to only get 10 to 12 miles. But uh, I want to be able to run or do my errands around town and just keep on recharging it and not use any gas. So we're going to try a new charger that will allow me to charge it faster so I could just run around town and just use electricity all right so here I have my wife's Tesla Y and we have the charger here but for this Tesla Y what we did was we installed this 220 um, power right here and it comes with this 220 and let me show you this NEMA 1450 and I'm going to use this plug, this 220, to charge, quickly charge my Prius. All right, so of course I can't just plug in a 120 into a 220 port. So I got this shock flow uh, battery charger. And this is going to be a much more economical solution than, than buying a manufacturer's 220. But we're going to give it a shot, see what it looks like. Okay, comes with manual, it says it's 32 amps. Alright, so that's what it looks like. It has this little holder that you can mount to the wall. But one thing I like about it is this uh, current delay, not current delay, but this delay button. So it allows you to set the timer as to when you want to charge. So if you're on a time of use or something like that, you might want to charge at night. And this allows you to do it pretty easily. Um, the, the, the Prius does have a delay in the car, but it's a little bit awkward to use sometimes, but, you know, depending on the way your car is. So here's that port. Neem, uh, 1450 should fit perfectly. If... All right, so here's the, the port. Now this is the standard... All right, so this is the standard J1772 port. So it'll work on most cars. It, it won't work on my Tesla, of course, but uh, it'll work on most cars. All right, my microphone went dead and I didn't realize it, but I'm just going to plug it in this uh, port that we had professionally installed. I didn't do that myself, of course. Um, so one nice thing about this uh, shock flow is the, the length of the cable. If you look at the length of the Tesla OEM, it's pretty short and it's always dangling so it doesn't get to rest on the ground so it, it carries the weight of all this this uh, power pack thing but this guy the, the cable is a little bit longer and it lets it to rest onto the ground pretty nicely so I, I think that's going to be nice so let's take a look at it in the car nothing different here I'm just going to plug it into the, the Prius and uh, once this light comes up, I know it's working. So one thing I wanted to note was that the Shock Pro is capable of 32 amps, but my Prius, I don't think it's capable of taking any more than 10 amps. So that, I think that's the max of the Prius, but I still, it's, it's, it's still going to be a lot faster than my 120 uh, plug-in. All right, so I came back an hour later, and gosh, I know the video was not going to really show, but uh, it's now 1026. I plugged in it in at 927 and now it says it's only got a half hour to go for a full charge so uh, you'll just have to take my word if the camera is not picking All right, it up. Sorry so unfortunately I had to come back and re-record this video because my my camera died and I don't know why but anyways I came back 10 minutes later and it was fully charged so uh, roughly an hour and 10 minutes it fully charged my Prius, which normally took three hours. So, I mean, that's fantastic. So, uh, to me, I mean, that that's better than half the time. So, that's great. Uh, and it makes sense. Uh, so, I, I think I'm going to be able to use this new charging cable. And I'm going to be able to run around town um, using just electricity on my plug-in Prius.